We're back with ramp racing for the fifth race. Last time, Nan FCS Racing Network kept his points lead and got his first career win doing so. So let's get into your top 15. Your top 15 is NFCS Racing Network, the Airborne number 3, Nadams 24, Chase Briscoe Fan 14, Kirby Tanks on Gaming Production 39, Kenneth Ratchwalski, Mickey and Jeffy Show, Jennifer Morse, NASCAR and Dogs, EJF84, Racing Fan 11, R Alamo, Mr. Splashy, ATABF48, and Philip. So let's get into the starting lineup. Also, this is starting lineup. Okay, here at the track. So let's begin ramp racing. Season 5, race 5. In the first race, you've got the number 51 of Nedham's 24, the 92 of Rex Rebel Fan 80, his teammate who got top 10 last time, the 90 of Caden Sack, and a 15 car of NASCAR kid. And Rex Revlor fan gets loose and spins in front the other two, giving it to Nedham's 24, who will take the win instead. Next. The 18 of R. Alamo, the 01 of Racing Fan 11, the 48 of Ed Petrolski, the Cockney fan, and the 39 of Kirby Tanks on Gaming Production 39. Oh, that was so close! I think it was either Ed Petrolski or R. Alamo. Ed Petrolski might have gotten his lucky break. He's been a crash magnet all season. Talking about crash, Kirby Tankson is upside down and racing Fanny Lab. And it's not going to have a good finish. He might be falling out of the top 15 because of that. Next. The 89 of Brandon Alpha, the 43 of Mickey and Jeffy Show, the 0 of Matthew White, and the 19 of NASCAR Racers. Mickey and Jeffy Show puts a block on Brandon Alpha and will take it. Good win for him, as Brayden Alfar gets real loose and hits it up in the wall. Not the best for him, not a great finish. Up next, the 70 of Caden Smart, the 4 car of Luke's Fun Adventures, the 1 of SMF1, and the 3 car of the Airborne number 3. Caden Smart will beat the Airborne number 3 and has a chance to win the stage. The Airborne number 3, not advancing, but will get a good finish out of this race. But not SMF1. SMF1 will not get a great finish. Up next, the number 10 of Skylar York, the 16 of Red Bull, the 93 of Mr. Splashy, and the 11 of NASCAR Racing Fan 12. NASCAR Racing Fan 12 finds a way around Reddick Biffle and will advance. Good for him, he hasn't been doing well this season. And Skylar York will not get a good finish. Next race, the 22 of last week races winner, NFCS Racing Network. The 52 of Prescott Prod, the 20 car of Abby V and the 97 of Phil. Yes, of course wins, and he goes rolling across the line, and definitely, wow, that was quite the race there for NFCS. Abby didn't do that bad, but Philip and Prescott Prods did. I was supposed to use the car that Prescott used in the clash, but I just couldn't find it. So. Okay, next race. The 44 of NASCAR Cows, the 23 of Mr. Turbo Lover. The 7 car of Elliot Fan 9 and the 6 car of NASCAR and Dogs. NASCAR and Dogs beats Elliot Fan 9 and has a chance to get a stage win. So close, yet so far away for Elliot Fan 9 and a DNF for Mr. Turbo Lover. That's not gonna help him. He had a good race last time, but not this time. Next, the 07 of Scotland Productions 83, the 28 car of Hayden Vickers, the 98 car, that would be John Carlos Fan 43, and the 78 of Chase Briscoe Fan 14. Oh, Chase 
Briscoe fan gets spun out. Hayden Vicker steals the win. Hayden Vicker steals yet another victory from one of our legends. As Chase Briscoe fan gets spun out, I think by Scottman. I think Scottman spun him out. And left Hayden Vickers around. Next race, the 14 car of Phantom Trap, the 25 of Mr. Uploader 24, the 24 of Emma, and the 88 of ATABF 48. Phantom Trap gets spun out. That was a super close finish. I think it might have been Mr. Uploader. It could have also been Phantom Trap or the 88 of ATABF. Emma is upside down. Bad finish for her again. She yeah. still laughs in Sandy, I'm pretty sure. Final race of round one. The 62 of Jennifer Morse. The 21 of Toby Not Suspect. The number two car of Ken Vachowski. And the 42 of EJF84. And they go rolling across the line. I think EJF84 edged out Jennifer Morse. Jennifer Morse looked like a favorite to win early in the season, but has had bad luck ever since race 3, I think. And so has totally not Suscat. Actually, he's had bad luck since the beginning of the season. Stage 1 is over. Wow. Great stage right here. Only one DNF, Mr. Turbo Love. Stage 1 ended. Hayden Vickers. First stage win of the career of that 28 car driver. Wow, that is crazy. He won the stage by stealing a victory from Chase Briscoe Fan 14. He's already becoming notorious for stealing victories away from famous drivers like Chase Briscoe Fan and Redick Biffle like he did previously. So let's get this started. In stage 2, 28. Hayden Vickers up against the 11 of, of NASCAR Racing Fan 12. He spins out! He almost might have gave the victory to NASCAR Racing Fan 12. That was another really close finish. This We've had so many side-by-side -side really close finishes. Wow. I don't think he'll win stage 2. Neither of them will win stage 2, I think. Next, the 70 of Hayden Smart, the 43 of Mickey and Jackie Show, and the 48 of Ed Petrovsky, the country fan. Hayden Smart rolls up into the catch fencing, and that gives Ed Petrovsky a spot. Wow, he's been a crash magnet up until now. Hayden Smart might have to settle with 10th place again. That was really bad luck as his car flipped over the field. He flipped over Mickey and Jeffy show into the catch fencing. Next race, the 51 of Nanams 24, the 42 of EJF 84, and the 22 of NFCS Racing Network. Oh, I think it was NFCS. Close finish between him and Nedans. And NFCS Racing Network is once again in the finals. He, I don't think he's even missed the finals once. Final race of stage two. Six car, NASCAR dogs up against the 14 of Phantom Trap. And Phantom Trap is in the finals. First time in his career. And wow, what a stage. Ed Petrolski wins stage two. Wow. I don't remember him ever getting a stage win. First time. Great, great move from Ed Petrolski. I think he won stage two. Wow. Great stage. We'll move on to the finals up next. Okay, it's time for the finals. A whole ton of unexpected finalists. The 48 of Ed Petrolski, the country fan. The 14 of Phantom Trap. The 22 of NFCS Racing Network. And the 28 of Hayden Vickers. Who will win race 5? It's got an NFCS two in a row. I think NFCS has gotten two in a row. Wow, NFCS with two in a row victories. This time he slides in front of Phantom Trap and Hayden Vickers to take the victory. And Ed Petrolski is sideways. There's the crash that we've that Ed Petrolski has unfortunately gotten after dodging it all the previous rounds. NFCS Racing Network is a two-time ramp racing winner and he's extending his points lead.
He's a big favorite for the upcoming All-Star race. Look at him. That 22 car, many people wanted it. NFCS first came to the sign-up video and got that 22. And now he's a two-time winner already, your first repeat winner of the season. We'll get to the podium to discuss your top finishers. And these are the results of race number five. Okay, we're here at the podium to discuss your top finishers. Your winner, second victory in a row for him. NFCS Racing Network wins two in a row. What a finish for him. That 22 is quick. Both of his cars are really great. And NFCS is building a points lead over the Airborne number three. Second place, Phantom Trap with his best career finish of second. He's hoping to make the Toyota crew proud, trying to get them their first win. Just like your third place contender, Hayden Vickers, known for stealing victories all the time in this series. And he does that in the first round, gets all the way up to third place. Great finish for him. And fourth place, he's had an unfortunate first four races, but this one, fourth place, a welcome, good finish for the 48 of Ed Petrolski. First career stage win as well for him, I think. He unfortunately he's crashed in almost every race so far, including this one, how he did in the finals. We will move on to the all-star race. We will have a voting period and then the all-star race will happen. Who will win the all-star race? We will find out coming up later this month or even next month. We will find out. <laughs> 